<laughs> so, uh, we're towards the end of the day. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's late afternoon. It's, um, we want to talk about the, the truth about Filipino families, I think, is going to be a good thing today. Now, I'm here in the Philippines. I'm an American. I have decided to live in the Philippines. But there was a time when we needed help. It, uh, before I got here, there was a travel ban. Uh, most Americans are, are arriving, most Westerners are arriving in the Visayas, whether it's Eastern, Western, or Central Visayas. Mm -hmm. um, Norma has family in Eastern Visayas, which we will be visiting. But um, but for now, so, but for now, we live in Luzon, which is the main island, the largest island, the largest part of the Philippines, and um, we're a little bit outside of the metro. Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not in the metro, but we're outside the metro, very close to uh, the big city. So it's still quite busy here. We're in a quiet spot, but it's very, very, if we walk about five, I'd say maybe five blocks, we get East Manila Road right there, and that's where all the traffic is, and there's everything. Every, anything and everything is there um, yeah. on, on foot. We don't, you don't really need to drive anywhere. Um, it's just so busy. So, um, but the thing I noticed about Norma's family, Norma only has one child who lives in Australia. Um, that's a coincidence, but thing is she has so many cousins and nieces and Niece. nephews, especially Niece nieces and, and nephews, yeah. yeah, cousins. So, and and this, my husband always surprised when I when I have a visitor. This is my niece. This is my nephew. <laughs> this is my cousin. <laughs> it takes a while. It's a Filipino. <laughs> it takes a while to get used That's to everybody. A Filipino <laughs> tradition. So it's if you're if you're coming to the Philippines, it's a big deal to get to know your wife's family. They're not trying to use you, or at least not trying to use me, but no. it, it sure is wonderful if I can pitch in and, and show everyone a good time once in a while. Um, I'm not talking about buying houses for people, but um, if I can pitch in a little bit for, for the occasional party or something or food, um, that just makes everybody... It, it, it makes everybody's happy. It makes them happier to see me and to know me, and, and then, yeah. and then uh, good things happen after that. So um, I wanted to mention that um, if you're serious about coming to the Philippines, okay, while Norma takes a quick break, I just wanted to mention that for for many guys, you know, there, there's, a, there's a girl every way you look, but many guys need a little bit of help. When it, when it comes to that significant other, um, at some stages of your life, uh, you're not sure about that. So, but there are people that can help you, and um, these people will actually talk to you, and they'll help you every step of the way. Um, it's Christian Filipina, and uh, they're not fooling around. They're very, they're very nice and kind, but um, they will help you. Um, find the girl of your dreams, guys, if you're thinking of coming here or if you're already here thinking of, of maybe going back to your country with your girlfriend, they can help you with visas as well. It's ChristianFilipina.com, guys. The information is right below this video in my description on my channel, guys. Check that out. So, um, back to family, Norma. <laughs> How big is your family? I know the Filipino family is big. <laughs> <laughs> the Filipino family is big. I still don't know the number. <laughs> Norma has one daughter. But that I, not, I have a, a, we are six siblings, but the two passed away, right? So we are four. So Norma is the youngest of six, yeah. So, which makes a lot of her nieces and nephews closer to her age than than they would be to the others. Um, so there there are there are cousins and then there are nieces and nephews that are more our age and it's it's almost like having brothers and sisters. And they're very close. Cousins and nieces and nephews, it, they're just like our brothers, my brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. It's it's unbelievable. <laughs> um, and 
saying we're not in the Visayas. I just wanted to stress that. We are over in Luzon. It's so big here. There's, there's, it's such a wide open space. We can drive for hours in one direction and, and, and not get to the water or the, even the mountain top. <laughs> so it's fantastic. When we get up, up to like places like Tanai, which is really relatively close to Manila, we can see Manila in a, in a lot of the other parts of Manila. Uh, when we look down, it's uh, it's truly a, it's truly amazing. I'm, I'm out of words at the moment um, to to describe that. But um, we don't we don't need to get on a plane or a bus or anything like that. We can just take a quick drive up and look down from from one of the open roadside restaurants. The restaurants are open air, mm -hmm. and we can just sit there and look out. And, and uh, all the views. The only beautiful. the only thing blocking our views are the other mountains in the distance. That's <laughs> it. Um, we can see thunderstorms and, and wind clouds and things like that, and it might not even be raining back at the moment. It's it's amazing. It's unbelievable. The rainy season um, is June. June through. I would say the middle to the toward the end of June, around the first day of summer, until the first day of winter, I would say, which is about Christmas time, is when the rainy season ends. So that would be the fall months for North America is, mm -hmm. is really the rainy season here. Uh, now it could still rain a little bit after that, but the real rainy season would be the, the fall, the summer months, I'm sorry, the summer months would be the rainy season. Right, mm -hmm. and but you'll be looking forward to that when you go through a hot season like we're just doing right now. This is oh, we're in the middle of hot season. We get that aircon cranking; it's cranking upstairs. It's blowing down. This is right here, and we're just it's sweating. But I love it. I love the heat. I'm getting used to it, like a Filipino, <laughs> right, Norma? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but it's too hot. In when when it's rainy season, it doesn't rain every day, but it can rain a lot. Um, where I would say mostly cloudy, but some sun too. Um, those are the happy months. There's a little bit of sun, but for the most temperatures aren't so hot and humid, and that can be a relief. So uh, there's no snow here. There's <laughs> Filipinos, if you've not left the, Fili the Philippines, you've never seen snow. So a lot of Filipinos, they know what that is. They know what it looks like, and they say, I dream of going to Canada or the United States, and I always say, Norma, Norma, the United States will take all your money just just as an expense, and the snow is overrated. If I never see snow again, it will be too soon. <laughs> because the problem with snow is it brings cold weather, and when it's cold, it stays cold, it doesn't warm up, and Americans know... Uh, North Westerners pay the price for cold weather. You're paying to heat your water and your home, and that's where most of their money's going. <coughs> Not to mention the um, the exorbitant rent fees and, and the mortgages. It's just unbelievable. So, <laughs> an app where you can pick and choose girls. It is a dating service. They'll talk to you. They'll help you figure this out, guys. Christian Filipina is the only service that I recommend. Uh, guys, I've, I've spoken with them and I, I plan on having a, a longer and better relationship with them. Um, I already have a wife, but I'm helping others uh, find the same thing, guys. Love is out there, guys. If you're honest and Christian, yeah. you don't necessarily have to be Christian, but if, if you're honest and, and uh, trustworthy, uh, a good life is a good life is out there for you in the Philippines, guys. Or you can find a Filipino woman to bring home. the The information will be in my description, guys, for the for the exact uh, name of the website. Just click onto that, and you'll find out the rest. So, this business of Filipino relatives, honey. <laughs> I'm glad I made friends with some of them already. <laughs> Many actually. They call me Uncle. Um, Uncle is what they call me. They refer to Uncle me as. Antito. But the, I love to host, and we visit also. We we visit a lot of the people that are related to us. We visit their homes. Karaoke is a big thing here. 
I love karaoke. You know, love karaoke. Yep. Every house they have a karaoke. So when they know when they know I sing, there's more respect, even though it's already there. So um, and Norma has a fantastic voice, but um, that's just one of the things that happens everywhere we go. And when they come here, we do the same thing. So that is like almost always in place, right, Norma? Yeah. <coughs> so we never know where we're going to go. So that's about all I want to do for this yeah. video, guys. Um, so leave a comment and let us know what you guys want to talk about next time. And don't forget Christian Filipino. Christian the Filipino, guys. The, don't forget. The information is right there in the description of this video, guys, right below the video. Thank you, and we're going to say goodbye you, for now. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. It's out of this world.